Hello there, and welcome to this series Introduction to Google Colab for Research. This time we're going to see how to run Django apps inside the Google Colab environment. This is not a Django tutorial, so I will not cover how to create Django apps, but in this tutorial I will create a very fast and simple Hello World app that will just display a string Hello World when we start this app to see how we can run Django apps inside the Google Colab environment. So let's start first by installing Django. Let me connect to the um, Colab. Now let's install Django with pip install Django. So now we see here that we just have in our directory the sample data, which is a default data from um, Google Colab. This is not uh, ours, but uh, you can use this from uh, Google Colab if you want. But now let's create our project by running Django admin start project hello world. So now we have this directory with many files inside. I will cd into this hello world directory and now we will create our hello world app by running python manage.py start app hello world app. So now we see here that we have a second directory called hello world app with some more files here. Then I will replace this fuse.py. So at the moment it is uh, with just this from Django shortcuts import render and here you can create your views. So I will replace this file. So I will cd into this whole hello world app directory and I am creating with write file, this magic cell, write file views.py. So from django.http import http response, then I'm creating here an index request that will return an http response hello world. So now if we see our views.py, it's being replaced by this http response that we just created. So basically we're done, but we need to run. Um, we will need um, some change some settings. So now if we go to hello world settings, we will have here a lot of settings in here in allow allowed hosts. Let's allow all hosts. This is not something you should do unless you're developing and as we are in uh, the Google Colab environment and we're going to tunnel, use HTTP tunneling to access our app. So let's allow all hosts. Here in installed apps we need also to put our hello world app and that's it for the settings but now on the URLs we need to add a line here so we are adding here we need from hello world app import views then views.index index was that function that we created inside the views.py so we are ready to go I will now install py and grok so we can use some HTTP tunneling to access our app. 
So Py and Grok is installed. And now from Py and Grok, we are going to import and Grok. We will terminate any open tunnels if it exists. Here, you should put your authorization token. So if you're not familiar with ngrok, just click on the link that will show up on the screen because we have a tutorial where we set up an ngrok account. So you can have some free account and there you get your token. Here you put your authorization token. Then we are going to set the authorization token with ngrok.set out token and here's the token. And then we will create this um, ngrok tunnel in port 7000. And now we will have this um, external URL that we can access from the outside of the Google Colab environment. So it's tunneling the local host port 7000 to this URL here. So now I will CD back to this hello world directory where we have this manage.py here. Now we can run python manage.py migrate. So it's applying all these migrations, admin, auth, content sessions. Okay. And we are ready to start our server and run our app. So with python manage.py run server, I'm choosing port 7000, which is also the port that I set up here with the HTTP tunneling. So we have our hello world running here. And when we go to this external URL, we have our hello world Nice, simple, and easy. So that's it for today. You can stop the server. Don't forget to kill so you close any existing HTTP tunnelings. And that's it. So we've seen that it's very easy to run Django apps inside Google Colab environment. We created a very simple hello world app. We did some HTTP tunneling with ngrok. Again, if you're not familiar with ngrok, just follow the link that um, displayed on the screen. So it's, uh, uh, it's still on the series uh, introduction to Google Colab for research, where I run Jupyter Lab and um, traditional classic Jupyter notebooks. So I also use this uh, HTTP tunneling and for many other tutorials we use this HTTP tunneling, everything which is, um, is running a server, so dash apps and other things. It's quite handy. And I see you in another tutorial. Check you later.